MediHelp West Africa, West Europe, West Africa, which is an international NGO, seeks to do as they put together uh, resources, bring together human uh, resources to help achieve sustainable development goal three, which is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. We are speaking to uh, the president and co-founder of MediHelp uh, West Europe, West Africa, Frank Ajiman Prempe, as well as the secretary of MediHelp, uh, who's Rhoda Afoko Kwe this morning. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to New Day. Thank you. Great. I like that you are working towards, uh, you know, the greater good, something that is way beyond, uh, you know, yourselves. And you are trying to achieve the SDG3, which is a good thing. I'd like to know before we even get, you know, really into it, are you working uh, with the Ministry of Health in any way to achieve this? Um, I would say we are not um, working with the Ministry mm. of Health. But we do believe that um, the SDG goal is an assignment for every individual. Okay. Since it has a global public health effect. Okay. So, so um, with with your uh, targets, what exactly are your core objectives? Would Africa take it or would you? Okay. What are your core objectives as MediHelp then? Um, the core objective for MediHelp mm. is to bring actors from West Africa mm. and also West Europe who are much interested in the health sector mm. because we know that um, when it comes to the SDG, yeah. it's a global goal that the United Nations sets under the World Health Organization exactly. that um, by the year 2030, every individual should have access to health yeah. and also well-being mm. should be maintained. So um, the core value is uh, to bring actors, yeah. doctors, nurses, okay. um, humanitarians right. who are much interested in combating this objective. Okay, and how has that been so far? Um, you've been in existence for about two years. What have you seen so far? And does it look hopeful that, you know, by 20, 2030, we should actually get to the goal and achieve what we've set for ourselves? Okay, um, so so far so good. Yeah. We are making a progress. We have people coming on board. Okay. We have people who are interested in this. Um, I quite remember somewhere last year, we did a donation at the orphanage. Okay. We had a little donation and a get together with the kids. Mm -hmm. And there are people who are really much interested in this. Okay. For instance, um, I'm, I'm a health practitioner. Okay. okay, I'm an EAP assistant, and EAP I believe. Is? Employee Assistance Program, okay, okay. and I believe in promoting health and well-being for people. Okay. And so, someone like me coming on board, I see this to be an achievement. And so far, we are making a progress. And I think in the next five to ten years, mm. we are really going to hit very high. Hit very hard. I'm thinking about the sustainability of this, though. Um, to say that if you are, what are you doing to make sure that this actually stays in the various communities that you actually go out to? <laughs> All right. Um, one of the things that we embark is that we are also bringing on board mm -hmm. the youth. Mm -hmm. That's our target. And mm -hmm. um, even the Bible said that you should remember him because of the strength that a youth has. Yeah. So um, the youth who are in schools who are reading something about health, yeah. we are trying to um, create links between the African youth okay. and also West Europe. People okay. who are also in Europe yeah. uh, in a form of collaboration okay. and assistance. So with the youth, we believe that it will be sustained. It will be sustained. But uh, do you have any um, in Europe right now who are, you know, um, helping out? Are they learning their training there to come and um, help here? Or how, how is that working out? Um, all right. Um, currently, mm -hmm. um, the base for this um, organization is uh, in Europe. Okay. So that is the core uh, where we even get most of our funds Funding from, from yes. exactly. Yeah. So uh, I would say yes. We have people in Europe okay. who are key and even more eager okay. to support us. To support you. So, so far, what, what are your activities? What have you done so far? Aside the orphanage um, help as well, what else have you done so far in order to achieve this? Any one of you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Any one of you. Okay. All right, um, so far, um, aside the orphanage, mm -hmm. we have been able to import a 40 feet container of medical equipment mm. and we are donating them for free. Wow. Um, we saw a lady who um, investigated about a guy with um, epilepsy mm -hmm. and um, we donated a wheelchair to this guy. Wow. It was very pathetic. So um, we want to also help to ameliorate 
this um, epidemic okay. um, conditions in okay. uh, West Africa and targeting our hospitals. Okay. So when you go to hospital, um, I think that was last two years. Okay. There was this news around that a man was sick and because of shortage of beds, wow. this man um, died. So when we, we heard this news, it uh, motivated us mm. to embark on that project. Mm. So when we announced um, in West Europe, yeah. we got people to uh, come on board and donate um, this equipment to us. So we have also looked at that sector. And that sector yeah. as well. And moving forward, uh, 2020 and 2021, well, let's just keep it to 2020. Are, are there any other things that we should be expecting uh, from your camp as well? Well, yes, um, we currently planning on organizing a program somewhere in april okay yes and we are thinking of now we are thinking we are collaborating with nukes okay, okay to bring together the university students okay. to organize this program and it's going to be basically a two days program okay. we are going to have a health um forum and we are going to also have a debate on the SDG Goal 3, okay. as well as organized health work, health screening, and mm. other activities. But has it been challenging in any way trying to implement some of your solutions in you know, these areas, especially because you say you are doing West Africa? So it's not just Ghana, you are focusing yes. on West Africa, um, cutting, uh, going across you know, the, the, the borders, even language is a barrier, but then there are mm. other things as well. There are different health conditions that affect, you know, the whole belt. How, how you know, difficult has it been? Um, all right. Um, as you rightly said, um, Ghana, sometimes when I'm describing the map, it's mm. very, you know, strange that um, Anglophone country surrounded with um, Francophone mm. um, country. But luckily for MediHelp, we are a multilingual association. Even when you go to our website, you mm. see we have French. So do so, you speak French? Yeah, I speak oh, you French. Do? Pay French hey, so. okay, <laughs> so, so, okay, that's nice. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, me, uh, the team have moved um, to that um, those countries, okay. and we found out that it is not all that difficult. Okay. Since even um, when you go outside, um, the region is West Africa. Yeah, it's one. So um, if we don't, for now, yeah. the main problem is when it comes to importation. Yeah. That's where we have a bit of, you know, you know um, taxes and uh, its waiver and its bureaucratic system. Mm. That's um, one thing that I would just say we have for you now. You have for now. No, I'm trying to, trying to um, narrow down um, the focus quite a bit. We're talking about healthy lives and food also, you know, counts when it comes to yeah. healthy lives. Do you have any plans with regards to, um, are you educating people with how, on how to eat right and to live a, um, you know, a healthy lifestyle, or you are just focused on you know, tangibles? How exactly is that working out? Um, thank you very much uh, for the question. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing is that we assess the SDG mm -hmm. goal, and we looked at, because the SDG is not only a, um, something for MediHealth. Right. It's, uh, assignment for every individual exactly. and the Ministry of Health is doing its part mm -hmm. um, non-governmental organization like MediHelp are all doing their part exactly and when we assess it we are focusing on the weakness mm. like the potholes right. in, uh, in tackling it okay so when you look at um, especially the news that the Ministry of Health brought yeah. um, when he was given a forum to address the SDG goal mm -hmm. he said that um, they are working on it but the problem the key problem is uh, people with disabilities mm. and also reproductive health. Okay. So we as uh, MediHelp, that's why we have also um, planned to have health screening okay. on cervical cancer, okay. on educating people on their reproductive health okay. and also um, optic. Okay. Yes. All right. So then that means that that's happening this month since you said cervical cancer um, or, or all throughout yeah. the year. Really. Um, uh, our program is scheduled in April. So okay, we are so that's this in April. Okay, yes. okay, okay. I see. And so, if I would also like to join um, the movement, because you said it's open to all yes. to join, whether health uh, practitioner or any other volunteers, how do I join your um, campaign so that I can also offer my services for free? Uh, all right. Um, um, okay, so we have a website. Okay. Um, yes. What's the website? Help. Uh, Okay, okay. that's W E W A dot org in order to um, access all of these. All right. Yes. Well, that's been good. Do you have any message for anyone out there, though? Um, 
one thing that I would like to say is that mm -hmm. um, we shouldn't um, look at our age. Okay. Neither should we look at um, what we have, the resource, before we start something. We should always be keen in doing something at a small place that we find ourselves. Okay. Be keen in doing something in a small place that we find ourselves. Afoko, yeah, leave okay. us with something. Okay, so what I'll also say is mm -hmm. let's all prioritize our health. Okay. Because our health and well-being is generally or basically everything about us mm. without it we are nothing all right yeah. well thank you so much i've been speaking to uh, representatives of we uh, medihelp we were that's um, the president and co-founder of medihelp west europe west africa frank ajaman prempe as well as Ruda afoko kwe the secretary of medihelp and they are working together um, to achieve the sdg3 ensuring uh, health and healthy living for all at all ages well you can join them uh, in their campaign as well to touch a life or two out there